Canada for the national anthem of New Zealand. Drives it across. Good run from Ross. See here which battery does it go to. It goes to the top castle. Little push, a little drive in from Ross, but it is fired wide. I think that push didn't quite go where it was intended to from John Chat for the New Zealanders. Driven inside. Shot. Oh, it's just wide. Almost out of a little bit of individual brilliancy from Olivia Shannon. She just says, but a great diagonal ball. Here's a chance now for the New Zealanders. Up the white is Hannah Cotter. She drives inside, goes to baseline, pulls inside, and unable to connect. The Chileans a chance. Driven inside, that's and at least in terms of position, driving inside, hoping to find something. It does come across, and it's a good save. Nations Cup victory, or at least a Nations Cup lead in the first 15. It goes to her castle, but they switch. Looks for a deflection and almost overcomplicating it there. Chile. While well, we're back in action, New Zealand continue to play from right to left in the all black. A nice show and switch of the ball. Comes here to Royas, who drives a big diagonal in. And that will be a free. Chile put the pressure on and they've turned it over in the circle. Chance and it's inches wide. Well, that was uh, an invitation from the New Zealanders who have, of course, changed their keeper. It is, oh, it feels like it's a game that's uh, struggled to move out of first gear so far. And they will go straight out for a 16 driven in. They don't need much motivation. They will want to give uh, Camilla Kram a, uh, a send off to remember. And this is a chance for them driving inside. Great work on the baseline. Oh, that was almost brilliantly brought down at the back post. Sensational hockey there from Chile as the game heads towards a half-time break. Solano drives inside. There is a good touch outside. Circle entry created and foot foul. Martinez is there. And it goes to Martinez. He drives across and fires it wide. Well, Chile have been given chances. and Here goes a chance for the New Zealanders. Driven inside shot. Oh, but it's lifted. Oh. Well, it's half time here in Terrassa, and of course, it is goalless at the break. It is Chileans who have had the. And uh, we get underway. Chile try and go on the front foot from the slot. Cuts inside. Strong running. Diagonal circle entry for the New Zealanders. Picked up there by Emma Finley, who drives. Looking for an angle, looking for a shot. Brilliant ball inside. It's touched, but well controlled there. Again. Good touch inside. Here's a chance now for New Zealand. Another circle entry. Here's Carter. She's got a chance. She's trying to make an angle for a shot, but she won't, and she loses the ball. She does. Does. And it's goal number one for the New Zealanders. Oh, wow. They've taken the chance. And it's dinged home by Jesse Anderson who deflects it past the onrushing Salvadoran goals. Well, Jesse Anderson, I didn't think that. Emma Graney fires it up the right. It goes to Olivia Shannon. Drives the baseline, finds the foot, finds the penalty corner. Shot, deflection. And it's a long corner. Good defensive work there from the Chilean Salvador logging, getting herself wide. Stephanie Dickens happy to eat up some time here. Ball comes across, it's lifted for either side to confirm their results. Rose Tynan, who seems to love this part of the game. Oh, what a save! Getting there just ahead, and it was almost a touch in from Anna Willox. But Natalia Salvador makes sure there's no space, no chance to divert it. Cuts across, just evading the run. Oh, it was a wonderful run from Flores. And there's another chance for Chile to save a result here. Para cuts it inside. And that is it from Terrassa. 
So far, so good for the New Zealanders. They saw out a challenge in the first half and were able...